Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another tutorial. And I thought I'd take a little bit of a break from the Western Styled Saloon and make just a quick tutorial on how to do a rotating building animations. And I'm also going to include this build and what I'll do is I'll put a link down um, below the description. Just go down there, you can download it and you can test this out yourself just to save you building out your own car. So you can do this with pretty much anything. So the first thing you want to do before starting this is make sure you've got something for a base. Now I'm going to use this for my base. I made this car just for this tutorial and you need a base because we're going to tie everything to the base to do the rotation. Now the base can be a cube, it can be a cylinder, it can be pretty much anything. And you can also hide the base in the render so you don't actually see that. So everything's rotating around it but you don't actually see it in the render. And the way to do that is you come up to where this little funnel is here, click on this and just make sure that you've got this camera icon ticked. And what that means is now, if you click this off, when you render this out, this cylinder for instance, which is this part, will not be in the render. So let's click that on because on this example, I do actually want it in the render. So down the bottom left hand side now, you'll see exactly what this will look like in the end. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve here. So the first thing we're going to do before we do anything is we're going to grab everything with B and then we're going to grab our base last. So if we shift click our base last, this is the thing that you want to tie everything to. You're going to press Ctrl P and you're going to click on object. And now if we grab a piece of our car, press G and move it over here, you'll see that it's got some lines that go to the base. If I right click now, it'll drop that in place. And if we grab another piece, you'll see again that they're tied to the base. Now the important thing is as well before you do this is that you split your mesh up whichever parts you want to fly in to actually come together. You cannot do this in edit mode, everything has to be done in object mode. So now we've got everything tied to the base, if I grab my base now and just move the base you'll see that it all moves with it and if I rotate it you'll see that it all rotates with it. So whatever I do with this base the whole of the car will follow it. The next thing we want to do is we want to bring in a camera and set that up. So let's uh, shift A, click on camera and set it up. And now we'll go to our camera with the zero on the number pad and that will zoom us right in. Now just zoom in your camera with the middle mouse just till it comes nearly to the outside of here. If you go one more look it will just go so you can't see it anymore. Press the end button and we're going to click lock camera to view and that is on the view button here. So click this on and you'll see a little red bar that goes around the outside of it. Press N again just to get this out of the way so you can see what you're doing. And now we're just going to set up the camera in the view that I want it so I can see the car come together. Now um, to position your camera it's shift middle mouse to move it left and right. And you can also zoom in and out with the middle mouse. And then if you hold shift and control and press the middle mouse down you can zoom in very slowly like so. So I'm just going to position my camera something like this. I'm then going to press the end button again. I'm going to take lock camera to view off. So on ticket, middle click outside of this box and then you're free now to work on our car animation. Let's press N to hide that and let's come up to this animation tab up here. Now let's get this set up um, the way we want it. So if I zoom in, I'm going to have mine on 200 frames. If yours is on 250, come over here to the little printer and just come down to where it says end and just put yours on 200. That'll mean that the animation will run for 200 uh, frames. And if I press space bar, you'll see that it just starts at zero again when it's finished. So when we render this out, we're gonna render it from zero to 200. And now what I want to do is I want to grab everything again. So I'm going to bit press B, drag, and make sure I've got everything selected. Then I'm going to bring this up to 200. I'm going to make sure that I've not got my camera selected, which I have. If you have it selected, just press the shift button and unselect it by clicking on it. And now we're going to press the I button and we're going to click location. And what that means is now that at frame 200, all of these parts will be in this location. So if I come to frame, let's say um, 80, and I grab one of my car pieces, and let's say I put it out here, don't do this, just watch what I do, and then you press I, location, and now if we start the animation again, and we press the space bar, you'll see that at frame 80, this starts coming back to where it needs to be at frame 200. 
So I'm just going to grab these with left click. I'm going to delete these keyframes. And now we're going to do the rotation. So what we want to do is we want to grab our base and we want to say at this point, the rotation of the whole car is going to be at this rotation. So let's press I, come down to where it says rotation and click it on. Now, if we come to frame 150, so if you can't see it, just zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to rotate it around. So RZ minus 90, press I, rotation. And now come to frame 100. RZ minus 90, I, rotation. And now frame 50. RZ minus 90, I, rotation. And now frame 0. So make sure it's on frame 0, not 1. Press RZ, minus 90, I, rotation. And now if I press my uh, space bar, I'm just going to zoom out just so we can see all our keyframes. It should, the car should, rotate round. And when it gets to frame 200, it should restart again. And there we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now what we need to do is we need to establish all these parts coming together. So the best way and easiest way to do this is to go to frame zero and move the parts of the car up where you want them to come from. So for instance, the roof and the window of this car, I want to come from the top. So if I grab the roof and the windows, pull it up and then press I and press location. So now it's just a case of grabbing all the parts, pulling them where you want them to come from, pressing I and click in location. So I'll grab the back lights and I'll pull them out. I want them to come from the back. So I, location, and the wheels, I want to come from the side. So I'm going to grab these two wheels first. I'm going to pull them to the side like so. I, location, and the tops of the wheels, I'm going to do the same thing. And these are the other side. And then we'll do the front lights. Pull it up. So I location and the front grill will also have out of the front. So I location, the little bumper out of the front, I location. And those up there. Okay. So now just give it a test. So go to your camera again with a zero, zoom in a little bit, and you can see here that these are a little bit too much in frame. So we don't actually want that. We're not going to talk about clipping or anything like that in this actual tutorial. That's something a bit more advanced. But for now, we're just gonna try and get this actual rotation build animation done. So now when I press space bar, everything should come together at frame 200 all at the same time, basically. And then it should restart. Okay, so now we've got everything established where we, uh, where we want the parts to come from. Now what we've got to do is make them come in at the right time. So I want basically the wheels and the axles to come in first, because obviously then the car is gonna sit on top of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say frame 50. So I'm going to put it down to frame 50. I want these to be at this point here. So what you need to do is you need to grab these keyframes over the right hand side. So I'm going to click on them, press the G button and move them down to frame 50. And just zoom in a bit and just make sure they are on frame 50. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tires on both sides. So shift clicking, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to click on these and to grab them all, you're going to press alt and left click. That's going to grab them all, bring them down then to frame 50, like so. Now at the moment, they'll be coming in at different points as you see. So they all get there at frame 50, but 
they kind of meander in very, very slowly. So I don't really want them to come in like that. I kind of want them to stay in the position where they were and then kind of zoom in all in one go. So the way to achieve that is, I'm going to say there's going to be 20 frames between them. So if I come to left hand side now, press Alt and click on these keyframes, press the G button and move those to frame 30. And now I've basically said 20 frames to get from this point to frame 50. So now if I press spacebar from zero, there you'll see now they zoom in. And that happens with just the wheels at the moment because I didn't set these um, into frame 30 as well. So I'll grab these now, move them over with G, and now you'll see both the wheels and the holders come in at the same time. And there you go. Okay, so now let's work on the next part. So because these have come in at frame 50, I'm gonna say frame 60, I'll have the next part coming in. So now it's up to you what you, to decide what's the next part that you want to come in. So I'm going to have the main base of the car come in at this frame. So I'll go, zoom out, come to the right hand side, grab these, so frame 60. I'll grab the other side now and put those at frame 40. 20 frames between them like we have with the wheels. So now if we press spacebar, we've got the wheels, then the bottom. Now it might be a bit fast, but you get the idea of how this is actually going to work. So now we'll come to frame 70. And what I'll do is I'll have these wheel arches come into place. So I'll zoom out. I'll grab all of them from this side with Alt and click in. Bring them down, frame 70. Come to the other side, click on them and then Alt click them. G, bring them up, 20 frames between, so that's 50 to 70. Come back to zero, press the space bar and now you'll see that they come in after it. So now let's go to frame 80 and let's have um, this part of the car. So the kind of middle part of it. Again, zoom out, come to the right. This is only one part on this, so I just need to press G. I don't need to press Alt click. So G, frame 80, frame 60, which is 20 frames away. This side, G, bring them to 60. And what I do is as I work, I always make sure that they work. So we should have those, those, and then this part. And you can see now that's working fine. And as you work as well, you'll see that the other ones, they're not gonna drop down um, or zoom in or anything like that because we're moving them around. So now let's uh, think about which ones we want next. So I think I want this grill next. So frame 90, the grill. And you see that I've got them both. So I just need to click on this side. So there we go, frame 90. Let's go to frame 70, grab this side and put the grill in place. And now I'll go to frame 100 and the next one I want is the bumper. So I'll zoom out, grab this side, G, frame 100. 20 frames apart is frame 80, so let's put it on frame 80. And now I'll just give it a quick test just to make sure everything I've done is working. And there we go. And I think now we'll have, um, we're on frame 110. What we'll have is our front lights, we'll put those on. So G, frame 110, and this one will be on 90. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit there. And then I'm gonna do the back lights on 120, like so, zoom out. and then move this up to 100. And now we'll start on this vent. So we'll go to frame 130. And then bring these to frame 110. And now we'll do this part of the spoiler here. So 140. And then these ones to 120. And we'll put the spoiler on last actually. So we'll do the top. So we're on uh, 150 now. Grab these ones, grab this side, and this is gonna be on 130. And finally, the spoiler, which will be on 
160 and 140 okay so now go to the camera press the space bar and let's watch our car build itself together and there you go that's exactly what we wanted and that is how you do a rotating build animation so i hope you enjoyed that one everyone hope you learned something give me a like and subscribe if you did and i hope to see you on the next one thanks a lot bye bye